Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called The Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project is a game designed by Brandon Tibbetts, published by Minion Games. Plays two to five players in 120 minutes, depending on player count, all that kind of thing. And effectively what you're doing in this is, it should be no surprise, you're trying to build the atomic bomb, hydrogen bomb, all that kind of stuff. And you're gonna be doing that through some worker placement. You're gonna be sending scientists, engineers, and basic laborers out on the board to do some things. You're gonna be buying buildings for your player board. You're gonna be getting money, you're gonna be, um, getting blueprints for a bomb. You're gonna be researching plutonium and uranium, and eventually you're gonna be building the bomb, loading it on a bomber to take it where it needs to go. Race to see who can get to the most points. That's what we're trying to do. So that's enough talking about it. Let's go on the table, check it out. All right, so here's a game of the Manhattan Project, all set up for two players. To set up, you're gonna put the board out in the middle of the table. You're gonna shuffle the six building cards with red and put them on the first six spaces. Shuffle the deck and flip one of the other buildings on space seven. Uh, you're gonna shuffle the bomb cards and flip three, which I've done here. You're going to set aside the money. Um, and each of us get some money. Let me check that out real fast because of course I always forget that. How much money do we get? We get... Money. Ten coins. Second place will get second player will get eleven. So you'll get ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, eleven. All right. So back to setup. Um, each player will also get a player board. I'm using the Nations expansion as well, so each player will get one nation that they'll put on their player board. It's kind of a special ability. You'll put your bomber and your fighter on space one on the track. You'll get four of your generic laborers. You're gonna put your token on the zero of the espionage, zero on plutonium, zero on uranium. And then we're gonna have a pile of yellow cake off to the side of the board, all the money, um, the plutonium bomb test, tiles there, some additional neutral workers, and a whole pile of our additional workers that we can unlock. All right, now we're ready to go. The way the game works is on your turn, you're either going to place a worker to the main board, and then as many as you want on your player board, or you're gonna retrieve all of your workers back. That's the gist of the game. What we're trying to do is build bombs to get to a certain point threshold, and I think in a two-player game, it is, I just played this and I forget, my memory is awful. It is 70 points, so we're trying to get to 70 points. All right, that's the gist. Now let's go ahead and play. So purple's gonna be first, because they had the little first player marker, and they're gonna take one of their laborers, and they're gonna put it out on the board. Now, some of the spaces have restrictions, like this, I'd have to spend five coins, this needs to be a scientist, needs to, needs to be a scientist and engineer. So some of them have stipulations, others do not. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to the university with my purple, and I'm gonna get a scientist. First, you take your own color of scientist. If there's none available, then you uh, can take a neutral one. And then, because I did that, I'm also going to use this, and I'm going to send a laborer, it can be any worker, to my nation ability, and I'm gonna either get two bombers, or I can spend a bomber to get three coins and I'm gonna take two. So I'll get three bombers. All right, done. Now it's yellow's turn and yellow is going to go here and they're gonna get one of their own engineers. And then they can place on their board if they want to, but they don't want to right now. So done, back to me. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a worker to get a building. So I'm gonna send a laborer up here. Now most of these spaces only one person can go to, except for the construction area, unlimited. And if you go up here with an engineer, the first two buildings are free. If you go here with a laborer or a scientist, you have to pay the cost, okay? Now I'm going to, I think I wanna to go to get a mine. So I'm gonna spend $3. 
I'm going to buy this mine here. It's going to come onto my board. And all these cards will slide down. And a new card will come out. Now, you see on the board, there's these red dollar signs. If you buy or take that action without dollar signs, you put a coin from the supply in the bribe area. And then if you buy this worst card here, the, the weakest, cheapest card, you get all the money in the bribe area, right? So now, because I did that, I can take two of my workers, any workers, put them on the mine, which I will do, and I will get two yellow cake. You need yellow cake for plutonium and uranium to make bombs, and that's the goal of the game. Back to yellow. Yellow will, they want a building as well. They're gonna send their engineer. And they are going to, they're gonna take this university. It's free for the engineers. They can take the university or the factory. They're gonna take the university. All these will slide down. And then flip. Then they're gonna send two, uh, one of their laborers here and that will give them another engineer, which is pretty good. All right, getting workers is what you want. Now, I don't have any workers, so I have to take a turn and pull all my workers back. Now, the way this works is you take all of your permanent workers off of your board and the main board, and any um, neutral workers that are on your player board get removed, and also any neutral workers that are on the main board get removed back to the supply. And that's my whole turn. So I pull my workers back, and I'm done. Now, it's this player's turn again. They're going to... I want a scientist. How can I get a scientist? So they're going to get a scientist right here. Take one of their own scientists and retrieve one of your placed permanent scientist or engineer. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to go here. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Done. Back to purple. So it's my turn. You know, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get just some people to, some neutral laborers to use in my, my workforce. So I'll get three neutral laborers. And the laborers are neutral because you only have four of your own laborer, so there aren't any more that you can get. So that was that. Then I'm gonna send two of them to the mine, and we're gonna get some yellow cake. Two more yellow cake. And I'll also send one to my nation ability. I'm gonna spend a bomber, take three coins. All right, done. Back to yellow. Yellow is, needs to get some plutonium, or some yellow cake. And I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna go here. So they're going to get three yellow cake. And the circle means everybody else gets a single yellow cake. That's their turn. Um, and I don't think they want to do anything else yet, so they're done. My turn. I need to get an engineer. So let's go here. Ooh, uh, yeah, let's go here. I have to pay three coins. But I get to take an engineer. Uh, got an engineer. And now I'm done because I don't have any other abilities to place on. Yellow's turn. Yellow wants to move up on a track. So we're going to start working on some plutonium. So they're going to send their scientist here along with two yellow cake. And they're going to move up one on the plutonium track. Back to me. Ooh, I'd like to design a bomb. So let's design a bomb so I can show you. Oh, I can't design a bomb yet. I need a whole lot of stuff. So let's, uh, I'm going to take some money. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to take five money. Every other player gets two money. And because there's a bribe symbol, there's now a bribe in the bribe section. And I don't have any other buildings, so I'm done. Back to yellow. They have an engineer. They're going to Go hire another building. And they want to take, ooh, I don't have enough money for that. They're gonna go ahead and take the factory. No, they'll take this one because it gives them a coin. It's free because they use their engineer, they get a coin. Now they can put any person on here to either get a bomber or two coins. Back to purple. So, oh, these slide down. And then purple will, how much is that? That's seven coins. All right, I'm gonna go up there with my regular dude. Seven coins, and I'm gonna buy this enrichment plant. These slide down, and I'm gonna use my enrichment plant because I have just enough money. I have five money. 
a scientist. Oh, you two scientists. Dang, just kidding. Not using that yet. All right, and that is my turn. Back to yellow. They don't have any more workers, so they have to pull their workers off the board. And any neutrals that would be up there, which there aren't any right now. So we're good there. And then back to my turn, I have a scientist and an engineer. So let's take the scientist over here to yellow cake. And I'm gonna go up on plutonium as well. And I have one person left that I can't do anything with, so I'm done. Back to yellow. Yellow is going to They're going to get some cash, I think. So they're going to go here with their engineer. Take three money. And then a dollar goes into the bribe. That's their turn. They can do buildings. So they'll go here. Take another engineer. They will go here. Either increase bombers or two coins. Right now they want money. That's more important at this point. And they're done. Back to me, I have an engineer left. So I'm going to use my engineer here. I'm going to take this university for free because it's my engineer. And all these will slide down. I don't get the bribe because I didn't take the weakest card. And that's that. And that's how the game is going to play. But I want to show you some other spaces. So notice we have some airplanes. So we have fighters and bombers. There's a space here called airstrike. Now, the way that works is, say on my turn, I have a worker. I could put it there. I have an option. I can spend fighters to attack the other player's fighters. So say I wanted to do that, I could drop one fighter to attack one fighter, all right? Then say I go there again, uh, say there are bombers down as well, okay? Now if I go there again, I'm able to spend my bombers to attack their buildings. You can't attack the country, you can attack the building. So I can spend one bomber and I can take damage on this building and now they can no longer use it until they go to the repair space, pay five, and they can repair the buildings you can repair up to three buildings i believe but everybody else can also repair but it's more expensive so that's that the next base is espionage if i took this worker and i go here i spend three coins i can then move my token up one what that means is i can send one of my workers to one of my opponent's buildings you can do that many times on their building so i can just do it one time so i can now clog up their buildings with my people and take their rewards which is cool the main thing that we're trying to do here is build these bombs. So when you place workers out on the board, let's just say I have, um, purple has five, All right? Let's just say that. When you place workers out on the board, you're allowed to also build, test, load a bomb if you have the appropriate things, okay? So say I wanted to build this bomb. The way that works is, I'm gonna take the build bomb action. I take all these cards, I'm gonna keep one, Or no, wait, that's the design bomb. So I take the design bomb action, which is, you know, say I did this action here. I take all three of these cards. I'm gonna keep one, because I took the action. So say I take this one, the other player will keep one, and then I get a second one. Because I took the action, the player that takes the action gets two cards, everybody else gets one, all right? That's design bomb. Then another thing I can do on my turn, if I have the appropriate plutonium, uranium, and all that stuff, and workers, I could build a bomb. So say I had, Let's see what I need. I need two of these and this. So say I had these people just hanging out. And on my turn, I placed there, I got some bombs. So now I can place a bomb. I can play a bomb. So I'll play this down. It takes two engineers and a scientist, and you have to have them available to place. I need five plutonium, so I've dropped that down. Then I've built this bomb. It's now worth 10 points. But I also have another choice. For plutonium bombs only, I could discard the bomb and get six points, but then every other plutonium bomb I have would be worth 17, or even the red number. If I don't want to do that, then what I could do is I could just pay $2. So I'll pay $2. And then I can load the bomb. And I have to have one bomber available to carry the bomb. And I take a load token and I put it on here. And now this bomb is worth 10 plus five. So 15 point bomb. And I'm close to this, I'm getting closer to the 70 that I need to win the game. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting uranium, plutonium, building bombs, loading them, testing them possibly. Uh, first person to test gets better uh, points. Second person to test doesn't get any, but it'll increase everything else. And then the first player to get to 70 points is the winner. That's how you play the Manhattan Project. Let's go up to the top. See what you think about it.
All right, well, that was the Manhattan Project. So let's look at the components just a little bit. You saw most of it on the table, but I wanna just highlight some of my favorite things. Um, and there's not a lot because the components are not really that good, but I do like the way they drew the little characters. They're just like little faceless, cute little characters, different hats. So this is the engineer. The scientist has a lab coat. Uh, what's that, a beaker, flask and glasses the basic laborer is just a worker in overalls so i, I really like those they're real fat and chunky I, I that's my favorite part um the theme is cool but the rest of it's just cards and um cubes so nothing to write home about components they're not terrible but they're not great by any means so let's talk about the gameplay so this is a it's a, an interesting game and i say that because on this board, you saw the repair space, the spy space, and the airstrike space, and I never used them in my playthrough. I played this game three or four times, and I've never used those places. Um, so it just doesn't seem like, you know, the board has, I don't know, eight spaces on it, ten spaces, different areas. And you're only going to use, you know, three less because, at least in my group, we never used the espionage, the airstrike, and the repair occasionally i think maybe one friend used an airstrike once but again you have it there on the board and it gets used in my game group one time seems like a waste of a space but i love all the other spaces i love building the buildings i love running my own engine down here i love designing the bombs building the bombs loading the bombs testing the plutonium bombs i love all of that but those three spaces on the board just not a fan I feel like they're not necessary just gives you this unwanted, like, in your face, take that. I get it thematically, you know, you're trying to, you know, you look, think of the Cold War or whatever. I have a lot of planes. You have a lot of planes. Neither one of us are going to attack because it would be mutually assured destruction, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I wish it had more spaces that I could use that were more interesting and get rid of those three. But that's it. But... Since it does have those three spaces and it's kind of in your face, take that. It's going to get a little bit of a lower ranking for me, so it's not going to get an accepted seal. But I still do enjoy this game. I will play it. It's just not one that I'm going to be wanting to play over and over and over because of those wasted spaces. So that's the Manhattan Project from Minion Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming. Mm -hmm.